everyone, I'm Kelly from Craft in the Cuppa and welcome to the third, I think it's the third episode of the Spinning Chronicles. If it's not, then I apologise, but I'm pretty certain it's the third. Now, everybody's at home today, so that's four children, one husband, one dog. One dog. Is that right? Four children, one husband, one dog. Yeah. So yeah, everybody's here and I'm hiding in the bedroom. No one knows I'm up here. Will I get caught? Probably, but I it, the sun's shining, basically. The sun's shining. I really, really want to take my wheel outside for its first ever spin in the sunshine. So today's episode is going to be a very exciting one for me because I've just started dyeing my own fibre. Love it. Now I'm going to spin up the first one that I ever dyed. It's mental. It's crazy. I went absolutely bananas with it. <laughs> I have no idea what it's going to look like when I spin it up, but I'm so eager to find out. That's why I'm quickly recording in the bedroom so I can uh, get on with it, really. But I wanted to document it because it's very, it's a very important moment in my life. I've dyed this myself. So basically, I didn't um, record the process, really, but I hand painted it with dye and then I steamed it. And I used so much dye. It was quite crazy. Um, but this is the end result. And I think it looks amazing. So let's get on it, shall we? Right, so I'm just going to unravel it. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this yet. Part of me is thinking I might just split it into strips and then half those strips and spin half the strips from one end and the other half from another end, from the opposite end. There's so many different colour changes, like I'm just trying to think what to do. So let me just unbraid it. Oh my gosh, it looks so lovely, doesn't it? I braided this as well. Oh, all of the beauty of the internet, isn't it? You can learn to do anything. You literally can. So here it is. It looks all tie-dyed, isn't it? It's just crazy. So yeah, let me just have a little think off camera because last time I had a thought on camera for episode two and it took ages. I was just like, so I'm going to have a little think about what I'm going to do off camera and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so I'm definitely going to split this massive long bit of fibre in half and see how we go from there. Oh, it's so nerve wracking. Let me just start from the middle and slowly try and make my way down. Trying to keep it in the middle as possible, but I don't know. Oh, I've got some white patches. I actually don't mind that, that I've got white patches because that is just gonna add to the texture. Well, not the texture, but the variety of colors. That's the thing when you're dyeing, it's like trying to get the dye to penetrate all the way through. But I don't mind it. I've got another bit there, you see. I don't mind that it's done that because I just think it's going to add add to it, really. Whoa, oranges. Going into, like, Aztec gold I used. But it's all just kind of, like, got a bit mooshed up. I think the end was meant to be gold and yellow, but that doesn't look like gold and yellow. I just used so much dye. one end. Where did I just start that from? Here. That's a teal. I must have spilt a bit of yellow on there because I can see a bit of green. Some purple, which has also got something else mixing it. <laughs> I don't even know. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't even know what's going on. Oh gosh, we've got a loose strand. Let me see if I can kind of, that's it, there we go. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that for some saturated colors. Whoa. Exciting. Okay, so I've now split the whole thing in half. I'm gonna take one half and I'm just gonna keep splitting it into smaller sections. And that's gonna be that half salt sorted. Now I'm going to have to think about the next section. I'm not quite sure what to do yet. Right, so I've just split one half eight more times lengthways. So I've got eight bits 
long bits going on. So the next half, I think I'm just going to literally fold it in half. It's so long, like I can't even fit it in the screen, but I'm literally, I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna break it, if I can. Aha, like so. So I've now got another bit. I'm gonna fold that in half and break it. Do the same with my other piece. And break that. So this one's gonna go on one bobbin. This one's gonna go on the second bobbin and then I'm gonna ply the two together. That is the plan. Now should I break it up again? Or should I leave them that length? I'm gonna break them up. Oh, but then it's not that much as if I do it. Now I'm gonna leave them that length, I think. And then I'm gonna mix them up so they're different. I'm gonna start with like a different colour and end of a different colour to what this is, because these both kind of start and end with an orangey kind of colour and then go into green one end and then teal the opposite end. So I'm going to like mix it up and start with one that's like this and then have the two orangey ones in the middle and then that one on the end and then apply them together. I'm going to do these ones first though. So let's do it. Let me get all excited. Love it. It's good. That's how I should feel when you're crafting. Happy, excited. Can't wait to do it. Good. Okay, we're set up outside, but I'm very nervous because this little turd down here thinks that anything new that appears in the garden, he's allowed to wee up it. But you're not, are you, Lily? Lily, just let everyone know that you're not going to wee up my spinning wheel. Yeah? You're going to be a good boy and not wee up the wheel? Otherwise, you have to go in. <laughs> Wish me luck. I managed to do it in the sunshine. It's now pouring with rain. That's why it's a bit dark and gloomy. Bring back the sunshine, please. And I can confirm that Lenny was a good doggy and he did not wee on my spinning wheel or my tripod with my camera on it. It's almost like he knew, no, we don't wee on that one. <laughs> he is a little bugger for it. Okay, so this is the first one that I've done. So I split uh, my fiber straight down the middle, if you remember. And then I picked one half up and I split it out again eight times. So I had long strands. So that's that one. I then halved the other, like um, half, half the other half, but that is literally what I did, isn't it? Uh, and then halved it again and then again or whatever. I think I had maybe four, did I have four? Yeah, I did, I had four smaller sections, which I then split up uh, into four pieces. I did that as I was, um, spinning it. I didn't do it all on camera. I just did it as I was spinning it. I'd take the fluff, pick it up, split a strip off, and then that is that bobbin. Let me just give you up one again. And I rearranged the colours so it's different. But do you know what I wish? I wish I knew how to chain ply. Now chain ply is where you turn a single, which this is a single, um, you, you basically ply it on its own. And people say it's like making a chain from crochet, but you're doing it with your hands. I've only had one go at it and I failed miserably. So I do need to just take some time to try and practice it. But basically you ply this on itself 
like three ways. You make a loop and then you make a big loop and then with your extra bit that's coming off the bobbin, that's the third strand. So if, technically you end up with like three strands because there's the loop and that's like two. And then the strand that's coming off the bobbin is one. <clears throat> and then you just kind of pull that strand in between the loop somehow or another. It looks so complicated. And do you know what? It is the first time I did it. I do need to try and practice it. But you would see the colour changes much better. I, I would love to see what it would look like chain plied. But like I say, I've got to learn that. So for now, keeping it nice and simple, I am literally going to ply these together. I'm going to spin them both together in the opposite direction to which I spun these. So I both spun these uh, clockwise. So now I've got to remember that I've got to go anti-clockwise whilst I'm plying. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Is it just going to become a big murky mess? Probably, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, let's get on it. Fun. Look at all those beautiful colours. I think it probably was the right idea to do this. I do have some dark patches going on, but I think we need to get it off the bobbin and into a skein. That's going to be the next task. And then I'm going to wet it. I'm going to soak it in some warm water for about 40 minutes just to help set the twist and let it dry and then see how it is. So exciting. This is definitely my favorite part, plying. Look at that. Love those blues and oranges. Okay. There it is. Having a little soak. That will just help to set the twist as well. I might have uh, put it in a skein before I did this, just to see what it looked like. It was beautiful. I don't even know why I doubted that it wouldn't look very good. It looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's real good. Okay, it's now time for the grand reveal. Oh, it's come out all right, hasn't it? I'm actually really happy with it. Let's do a little swizzle. I need to learn how to make my skeins look a bit more tidier. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it's come out. I've got to be honest, I've done all this and I forgot to work out how much is on there. I keep doing that. I need to know how many meters are on there and the thickness. I think I'm going to call it a chunky mix again. I'm such an inconsistent spinner. I really am. But I don't really care. I like it like this. I knitted some up the other day for the first time ever and it looked lovely. Especially with having all the different thicknesses, it really added some texture to the fabric that it created. So there we are. My first ever hand dyed fibre. Spun. Uh, I'm literally now going to go make up some more dye stock so I can dye some more. Exciting. I have already dyed a couple of skeins, uh, not skeins, a couple of fluffs. I don't really know what to call it, but some more merino I've dyed up. I should probably go get it. Should I go get it? I don't know. No, I'll leave it for now. <laughs> it's all the way downstairs. But I will be back. I'm going to be making some more hand dyed fibre and spinning it. And who knows, I might put some in my shop soon as well. <laughs> right, thank you for watching everybody and I'll see you again for the next episode. Bye! <laughs>